Hello everyone and welcome back to another Versatuner guide. So a viewer of mine requested that I should make a flame tune in Versatuner and well today I will do that. So first thing you want to do is go into oil control, oil injection, load and increase the oil injection amount for the OMP by 20%. So go ahead and type in 1.2 in the multiplier tab and just click multiply. And the second thing you should always do is premix two stroke oil in your gasoline when you fill up that helps the engine to be lubricated and stay lubricated since the engine is under a lot of stress while shooting flames since you constantly uh, change the load points of the engine and let it rev up and slow down rev up and slow down to get some heat in the engine so flames can actually form next thing you should do for a flame tune is go into the fueling in the air fuel ratio table um, one uh, select the 4000 to 50% of engine load and change the whole area to 13.6 uh, so it's at 13.03 to 1 air fuel ratio um, to shoot some flames this will generate light blue flames. Um, I will play a video now. There you go. Now you have seen what 13.03 AFR looked like. This was definitely not my car. Um, if you want to change the color of the flames that you shoot, you can enrich the AFR um, to around 11.1. .1. This will usually result in brighter orange yellowish flames and yeah that's basically it and now you take this table if you don't make any other changes you just want to shoot flames you can just do these values and you'll be fine then you copy this table paste it into air fuel ratio 2 and paste it into air fuel ratio 3 so all the tables that the ECU has to look up into well if you're into a certain gear or if you're in neutral is all the same so yeah there's no variation so you always get the same AF are that you request. Um, what you now want to do is you want to change the deceleration fuel cut to the maximum that your engine revs to. So I didn't change the rev limiter in this table since since it's a stock map, nothing changed. Um, except for the changes that we now do and now we have always fuel injected 
even if we slow down. Um, yeah, since the, the engine will produce a lot of heat, and I mean a lot of heat, the coolant temperatures can rise really, really fast, as well as the oil temperatures. So if you don't have an oil gauge, oil temp gauge, I mean, you should stop after like 15 to 20 seconds of shooting flames because the oil gets really hot and you rely basically on the oil to cool down the inner parts of the engine since the Wankel design is, yeah, well, you need to keep the oil temps down to keep the engine cool. Um, so what you want to do is um, set the primary fan to a lower value, let's say 90, so your coolant doesn't get too hot. Um, since if you keep the coolant pretty cool, the oil temperature will usually not rise that fast as if the coolant temperature is really hot. So if you're stationary and you're just revving it in a parking lot or on a back road, um, yeah, change those temperatures to something like 90 and 94. Um, they should turn off at 10 kilometers an hour, yes. Um, since you can have louder bangs with more air, you can change the auxiliary port valves 1 and 2 and the uh, variable dynamic intake to a lower RPM to open as well. So for my flame tune, I did 5,000 RPM for the auxiliary ports and I did 6,600 RPM for the variable dynamic intake. And yeah, that's basically what you need to do for a flame tune. I will show you a video of what 11.5 AFR yields in terms of flames. So if you do 11.5, it should change to something 4.8, exactly. Uh, if you would do this, um, I need to check if I have a video, but trust me, the flames will just get brighter and more yellowish since there's more fuel to burn and less air and yeah. Anyways, here's the clip and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.